Hi, I'm Roger and welcome back to the Tractor Tech channel. A while back, I had a question about how to advance ignition timing on a chainsaw. I want to show you how I do it, but I'm going to say that I don't recommend doing this unless you're very experienced with engines because it's a good way to ruin your chainsaw's engine. So this is an MS660. It's actually the clone saw that I have. I already removed the recoil cover off the side. So now I'm going to remove the flywheel nut so I can remove the flywheel. I was going to be making this video with my GoPro, but I think it just died for good. So I'm making it on a cell phone because that's the only other thing I have on me right now. But to remove this flywheel, now that I have the nut off, I put the nut back on just a couple threads. On some saws, you can put the nut on there, then hold the saw up by the flywheel, and then take a hammer and tap on the socket and that will knock the flywheel loose. But on a 660 or a bigger saw, 066, 064, whatever, the flywheel's threaded in here, so you can use a puller on it to remove it. But on your non-pro saws, they're not threaded, so you're gonna have to hold onto the flywheel and tap on it with a socket, like I mentioned. And the reason you need to put the nut on is so when the flywheel does come loose, your saw doesn't fall down and you mess your saw up. Now there's a flywheel puller installed on the saw. What I'll need to do is hold the wrench and tighten the ratchet to pull the flywheel off. The flywheel's off, and right there is what we are after, the flywheel key. So I'll now take like a straight screwdriver and pop that out very carefully. Now I have the key out, I just laid the flywheel back on the crankshaft. So when the chainsaw is running, the flywheel rotates this way, counterclockwise. So to advance the ignition timing, we need to file the key so that it turns the flywheel counterclockwise. I'm gonna take a scratch all and scratch the key so I know where to file it. So now I have the flywheel key and a pair of vice grips and then I have the vice grips locked in a vice. I have the key and the vice grips right at my scribe mark so that way I can run the file against the old pair of vice grips and do a nice job at filing the key. So here's what the filed flywheel key looks like. So now I'm ready to put it back into the crankshaft. So now the key's back in the crankshaft. I'm going to put the flywheel down on the crank and when I do, I'm going to turn it counterclockwise against the key where the key has been filed to advance my ignition timing. I have the nut back on the crankshaft, so now I'm just ready to tighten it down. So now the timing has been advanced on the saw. If you look on a forum, on a saw like this that has a removable flywheel key, you'll see people talking in thousands that they file off the key. Usually people talk around 20 thousandths. It's gonna vary from saw to saw though. And you need to listen to your saw. If it sounds like you're popping popcorn, it's been advanced way, way too much and it's detonating and you're going to uh, melt a piston and ruin the cylinder. So now I've moved to an MS290, which is a non-pro saw. I already have the side cover off of it, as you can see. I already loosened the flywheel nut. And there the flywheel's loose. So what makes the non-pro saws, and there are some pro saws like this, but you can see that the key is cast in the flywheel. So now, I don't recommend filing the key on one of these saws because if you look right here, it says, warning, alteration, or misuse may cause burst hazard. So filing the key could call, possibly cause a burst hazard. Then looking at the flywheel, like how it goes on the saw, the right side of it needs to be filed to allow the flywheel to be turned slightly counterclockwise. I have filed the key on the 290. These saws do benefit very, very so slightly from a filing it. It's really not even worth messing with. I tried a 250. It just with barely even filing the key on that saw, it detonated. My 170, I do have the timing advanced on that. Then after the flywheel key has been filed, your carb is going to need to be readjusted. 
Thanks for watching this video.